Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial in our Java tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we are going to be covering how to create temporary files. Now, temporary files are usually those kinds of files that an application will automatically generate that contains different pieces of, of data that the application will use uh, every time it starts up. Sometimes they're used as caches. Uh, that kind of that kind of general stuff. Um, if you want examples of temporary files, uh, you can go to your C drive, go to the app data folder, uh, go to local, and then temp, and you'll find a bunch of temporary files in there. You can kind of get an idea of what those are. Now, you can create your own temporary files for your own applications using Java, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do, uh, how, how to do right now. So, let's go over what we have right here before we start. You can see I have a try-catch block uh, with two strings inside of it, a prefix and a suffix, and then I have a path for a folder that I've pre-created called temp. Now, what are why do we need a prefix and a suffix here? Shouldn't we just have a full file name and call it a day? Eh, not necessarily. The, uh, it, the way a temporary file works is uh, it ha you provide it a prefix and a suffix, and then this and then the system will generate a a, a slew of random num seemingly random numbers uh, to append to the file name before it saves and writes to that file. So, so that's, uh, that, that's kind of how you would do that. Uh, however, you don't have to provide a prefix and a suffix. Uh, if you don't provide a prefix and a suffix, uh, what it'll do is it'll create uh, that random slew of numbers, which will then become the file name, and then uh, the extension will be .tmp, which is the default uh, extension for a temporary file. But if you include a suffix, you can uh, define that yourself, like we have here, which is .txt. So, how do we create these temporary files, you may ask? Well, there's a method called create temp file. And then there's also create temp directory, and we'll show you how that works too. All right, so let's go ahead and create a few temporary files and show you the differences between uh, between these uh, between these things. So first, we need to go ahead and go files dot create temp file. Now we have two different options. You can provide the directory in which it is, in which it's in, the suffix and the prefix as well as file attributes and then the same basically the same uh, constructor just without uh, without the path to a specific directory. If you do not provide a directory what it will do is it will go to the system's default temporary file storage location, which is usually on Windows, app data, local, temp, and, all, and it'll be saved in there. That's what we do not want that. So we're gonna do the second option where we're gonna give it a path and then it's prefix, it's suffix, and we don't need the attributes. Pretty self-explanatory there. However, you can also uh, give it a path and then a suffix. We'll say the suffix is null, and then or the prefix is null, and then the suffix is the suffix, right? However, you can also say, oh, well, I don't want, you know, you can also say, oh, well, I don't want the suffix. So I'm gonna say null. 
I want the I want it to be the default. And then prefix you want to you want to keep. Or you can also say, oh, you know what? I don't want pre the prefix or the suffix. Auto generate those for me. All right, so those are the four different ways that you can go about creating your temporary file while when you provide the path. Um, there's eight total ways of creating a temporary file if you count not including a path. Um, so it, it's flexible. So once that's done, make sure you save it and you run the file, or run the code, I should say. We don't, excuse me, we don't get any exceptions. And so if we go ahead and attempt to refresh, Yeah, if we go ahead and try to refresh everything, you can see we have our temp folder, and inside of it we have four different files that we just generated. And if we take a look, you can see we have one that's just a bunch of random num a bunch of random numbers .txt. This is the one where we didn't give it a prefix, but we gave it a suffix. So it only has the name as just a bunch of random or seemingly random numbers and a TXT extension. The second one is where we didn't give it a suffix or a prefix. So it's just a bunch of random numbers, dot TMP. So all default settings mainly. Uh, with the exception of the of the path, uh, then we have uh, this one is where we gave it a prefix of log underscore, and then it went and gave it a random number, and we didn't give it a suffix, so it added dot tmp to the end of it. And then we have the one where we gave it both a prefix and a suffix, so we have dot txt is at the end log underscore at the beginning, and then the random slew of numbers at the, uh, in, in the middle. So that's all fine and good, but what if I want to create a temporary directory? How do I go about doing that? Well, excuse me we can go ahead and say files dot create temp directory. Now, you can see in the autocomplete, we can give it a path, a prefix, and file attributes, or we can give it a prefix and file attributes. In this case, we're gonna use the second one. Because if we use the first one and not provide it a path, again, it will go to the default. Uh, it'll go to the default location for um, for temporary files and directories. So files dot create temp directory. We give it a path. So we're gonna say it's our the path that we uh, gave our other our other ones. <clears throat> so this temporary directory is gonna be inside of our temp directory here. And then the prefix, oh, we're gonna say logs underscore. And then we're not gonna give it any file attributes. And with that, we can go ahead and we will run our code. You can see we didn't get any exceptions. And if we refresh,
you can see now we we regenerated more temporary files and that's fine uh, but you can also see we uh, generated a temporary directory with the prefix of logs underscore now as before if you don't if you don't provide a prefix and you set it to null uh, if you set the prefix to null it won't have any prefix it will just be the random numbers now another thing to also keep in mind is that the create temp file and create temp directory methods return a path object why is this useful well this is this is useful and they return a path because uh, maybe you want to have access to that file path specifically so then you can delete it later on or so you can update uh, those temporary files later on or something like that uh, you're you know you're not just gonna like create them and not do anything with them because that would be kind of pointless so you're gonna want to have to store that the the path to that temporary file so you can modify it later which is super, super useful. And so that basically does it for this tutorial on temporary files and directories. Thank you all so very much for watching. And we'll see you all in the next video where we will be covering how to delete files. See you then.